Even though Philadelphia is founded by pacifists, still by 1742, there were enough people in Philadelphia who shared nothing in common with the Quakers or William Penn's vision of the Quakers, uh, that there, there was plenty of contention to go around. And this explodes in one example in the election riots of 1742. Uh, the Anglican party, the proprietary party in uh, Philadelphia was squared off against the old line Quaker party and they were both bidding for the votes of the ethnic Germans in the Philadelphia region. It was more or less a one-third, one-third, one-third split. But the competition for the votes became severe and finally exploded in a confrontation uh, right in the middle of Philadelphia itself with the proprietary party as representatives uh, locking themselves into the courthouse uh, after some fisticuffs in the streets and, and a major riot breaking out all around them. Uh, as it turned out, the Anglican party lost in the election. Their candidate, William Allen, had been a candidate for ins city inspector. He lost. They did manage to work things out. People got along afterwards. But it was a really unusual moment for a city which was supposed to be this paragon of pacifist virtue in which everybody would get along guided by the light within.